the next uh, question is uh, explain the three types uh, sorry three ways to assemble link and run a program the three steps involved in uh, executing program is uh, first step is uh, edit the program where we are using the normal dos editor and we will write uh, a set of assembly language instructions uh, and we will uh, name the file with the asm extension then we use in the second step we use the assembler mazam which will assemble the program and if any error is there it will report the error and it will convert the assembly sorry assembly language instruction into binary coded form normally mazam is nothing but a microsoft assembler there is one more assembler from borland that is called as tazam turbo assembler so in a diagram you can see we have editor the output of the editor is a asm extension file this becomes the input to the assembler assembler will generate three files one is a, a file with the dot obj extension which contains opcode offset and other address offset address etc other than that uh, we have one more uh, file that is called as a uh, with the list extension dot lst extension which contains all the opcodes and offset address third one is uh, we have cross reference file uh, which contains which will uh, represent uh, alphabetic list of all symbols uh, tables uh, used in the program etc all these three files uh, becomes uh, input to the linker program and output of the linker program is the executable file uh, that will run uh, on any os so this executable file we can debug and we can analyze by step by step so this is the way we execute the program next one is uh, assembler directive sorry next assembler directive is page and title directive page directive tells uh, the uh, uh, tells the assembler to print uh, how many lines uh, on the page how many lines on the page and columns uh, by default uh, you can see there 80 and uh, 132 or 80 and 80 66 lines uh, with the uh, 80 characters per line you can change it uh, by giving instruction page uh, 60 comma 132 title directive indicates uh, to print the title on the every page of the uh, program while printing this is the page and uh, title directive so after that uh, we have some instruction here inc instruction inc instruction adds one to the specified destination so inc al inc bx so by doing like this uh, it will affect the sum of the flags uh, so what are the flags affected here are mentioned there carry flag is not affected by inc similarly dec will decrement uh, or subtract one from the specified destination then we have one more uh, instruction j and z jump no zero so if the zero flag is uh, zero flag is uh, one uh, then if the sorry if the zero flag is not zero i'm sorry if the zero flag is zero it will jump to the particular label So other than that uh, we have one more directive offset so offset and org what is the difference between offset and org offset uh, tells the assembler to determine the determine the offset or displacement of the data items uh, named data items from the segment uh, for example in the diagram you can see move ax uh, offset of message 1 that means 
the message one offset address is moved into AX. Message one is there in the segment whose offset address is moved into AX. ORG directive. ORG directive is used to set the offset address for data items. See the difference. ORG is used to set the offset and offset uh, directive will tell the offset of the particular data items. So suppose I want to store this particular result in particular address, then you can use uh, ORG. So that is the difference. Uh, 